Hey everybody, happy February. First time now for a new edition of the Weather Blender blog, apparently brought to you today by a new sponsor, Snow Miser. Snow Miser, whatever I touch turns to snow in my clutch. I'm too much. All right, let's talk here seriously about what's going to happen. You know, we've seen some interesting changes, so we'll jump right on over the weather models here. As we look, first of all, at what's going to happen in about 36 hours, this is looking out second half of Tuesday. This was a little bit of a change from what we had seen previously. Uh, we now currently see a little bit of precipitation skirting by another area of low pressure forming up just off the Carolinas. It's been real active from the Gulf Coast, and they scoot on up to the Carolinas. Well, this one just kind of forming up off the Carolinas. There's enough moisture being thrown back over the rain snow line that I've outlined in the light blue. Uh, not only that, but uh, we also have a trough above us here that's uh, coming through with another area of lift. So those combination of factors are going to present us with a little rain or some snow. And in fact, the NAM model shows a couple of inches of snow on the high terrain. If you'll look again, you will see that. So uh, that's about uh, three, four inches on the high side of things again, only on the very highest terrain in West Virginia. All right, well, we'll continue now and we'll look at what happens beyond that because really it's pretty quiet despite an early morning flurry Wednesday until about, let's say, late Friday. And so let's jump on over there and let's talk about what happens on Friday. 96 hours out using the GFS model, rain snow line I-64. So it's mainly just rain that we're seeing and the heaviest again is around Bluefield way down to the south, that area of low pressure coming off the Gulf on over to about Charleston, South Carolina. What happens after that step by step and does this start to look a little bit familiar? Uh-huh, it certainly does. We move out to 108 hours now we see the rain snow line is pushed down all the way to Bluefield. We have some heavy precipitation in the north of that. So now we're talking heavy wet snow. This is by 7 p.m. on Friday night. High pressure to the north, low forming up along the eastern seaboard, and those combination of factors again throwing the moisture back to the north into the cold air. Now let's see what happens when we go out to Saturday morning. A couple different looks here. This is 12Z, Saturday morning, 7 a.m. The low really has intensified off of Cape Hatteras. And the snow on the GFS is mainly, let's say, from Beckley to the south. So let's check out what the GFS says in terms of snowfall accumulation. This is the first look that we have at this. I'll show you the up-close version first. Yep, that looks very familiar, doesn't it? Sharp cutoff in southeast Ohio. Huntington steps up to about two to three inches. It's four or five inches around Charleston. It's six to eight between Charleston and Beckley. It's around 10 inches in Beckley, 14 inches in Bluefield, and 20 inches to the south, closer to, uh, let's say, Danville, Virginia. So it's kind of like the facepalm thing, right? Just uh, enough of this already. But that's the way things are going. All right, so we'll continue to show you a much larger map. Just another look at that on the GFS, 120 hours. And there's your big bullseye. Thanks to the uh, East Coast low, just continues to throw the moisture into the cold air. Real quickly, we move on uh, to the Japanese model just to kind of confer and see what else is out there. And uh, it's been kind of interesting watching this one. This one gets a little bit cooler, too. As you can see, the rain snow line is pushed to the south. Let's say southeast Ohio through Huntington, 2 to 5 inches. And Charleston steps up from about 5 inches to about 8 inches. Again, this is by 7 a.m. Saturday morning going by that model. Looking at the Canadian model, well, it's interesting. That one has also gotten a lot cooler. And uh, you can see that the rain snow area, the gray shaded area, that's the thicknesses has come to the south. And so we are looking at snow again uh, by that time frame. Just pushing ahead a little bit and wrapping this one up again, 144 hours. This is 12Z Sunday, 7 a.m. And we see just a little light scattered snow shower left over with this one, just kind of what we call troughy left over. So a uh, kind of a thermal trough, a low pressure trough up above us. And uh, that just leaves enough lift for the occasional scattered snow shower. And it's the same picture again, just a little disturbance squeaking on through Sunday. This is 0Z Monday, which is 7 p.m. Sunday night, with another chance of a little light scattered snow shower. So that active southern pattern continues to rule the day. We will continue to keep you updated on what's going on here, of course. And, uh, boy, just hang with us. We could have another repeat going into Friday and Saturday. We'll keep you posted right here on the Weather Blender blog.